Hi guys, I'm back and we are no longer uh, hanging from the ceiling on strings so you can't get seasick anymore so it's all pretty much stable and I hope that you can see it just as well as you did before I hope so so getting my gloves my husband made a, a contraption Someone asked me, what is a contraption? Well, it's something that, I think a contraption is something that normally doesn't exist, but you make it just, you know, because you need it. Something like that. But it is um, a real funny thing, but you've already seen it on the previous video, because I haven't uploaded that yet, but before I upload this one, I'll upload the other one. So, closing the door getting my pouring cup because what are we going to do we are going to do a pour with my signature colors and i have the um with my homemade pouring medium just to give it a, another try with different colors so uh that's what i'm gonna do no white because i don't like how that white pops up so i'm gonna give it a little bit of um silicone a couple of drops here and there and I'm not going to be really stirring it in too much so I'm going to give it like four or five of those one two three four five 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 and the, uh, the iPad is a little higher at the moment. Maybe I should put in also some treadmill, treadmill silicone. Let's do that. See if that helps. There we go. I think I'm uh, gonna buy some uh, dimethicone. I did use that when I first started, but I thought it was a little bit too thick. So I just might do that. Yes, I'm going to do that this afternoon. This is my last video for today, guys, because I want to do some other stuff, clean up the studio here, and uh, take a nice long bath, maybe do some stuff outside. The weather is getting a bit ugly, but can't help it. Okay, so I have my cup. I'm going to start with the opaque color, and that's this one, the turquoise. And I like how the green works with the turquoise. Then, some orange. And some brown. Ooh, that's a lot of paint. Then, the Prussian blue, Prussian blue, whatever color. But I want it all in there because I didn't make that much Prussian blue. There that goes. All on top. Then some more turquoise. And as last, I'm going to put in the pour some Guatemala green. And we'll never know what's going to happen if you don't try it. So I'm pouring it in. And getting the rest out of the cup because we don't want to waste any. This is a lot of paint. So I'm hoping that when I pour, I'm going to do a flip cup by the way, that when I do this, um, everything will sort of balance out, I hope. Okay, I think that's about it. I have my push pins in place. There we go. I have my cup of paint, which is filled to the rim. I'm going to turn it upside down like that. And here we go. Wow, look at those. Look at those. 
Got to make sure that I don't pour in the middle. But I am going to um, torch straight away. And I'll give you a close up. That's about it. Not too much because we don't want to, um, you know, over this metallic bit, I don't want to do the, too much torching. And you always get those really beautiful bits that you don't want to lose but have to lose because it has to go over the side. Don't you just hate that? Well, We'll just have to do that. Can't help it. But this way we do lose a lot of color. There it goes over the side. So, I like it. I'll get you guys up close in a bit. You are pretty much zoomed in right now. Got to wash my hands a little bit. Not wash them, but clean them. Okay, let's just watch what happens. Let's get some more light on there. See if I can do that. There you go. And see if I can get you zoomed in a little more. Not sure if you can really see anything. There you go. See, there's a lot of stuff going on. I absolutely love this, but then again, I love that. But then again, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like this. So, let's make this a really long video. Yeah. Okay. I am going to be working on this so if you don't want to see this that's okay just you know go fast forward to the end but I'm going to do something because I do like the the orange here but I would like to have some sort of a better cell contraption there. Oh, now I got the contraption in my head. I kind of like that, but I want some more. Oops, don't want the air bubbles. And I'm getting awfully quiet, but I can't help it because I want to do this perfectly. I gotta get this stuff right in the middle. Like that. Then a tiny one on top of that. Because I just saw a video of someone that just, you know, really did a lot of this but out of these uh, little squeegee bottles, the squeeze bottles with the little spout on top. But I'm gonna just do something different. Oh, but I do really like this. It has potential. It really has potential. Another one here next to it. That 
That is cute. Sucking up a lot of paint. I just don't get that that paint is um, empty so fast, the pipette. Ooh, putting another one in. Oh, come on, I had more paint than that. Okay, now, I'm, uh, now I have to get my little stick. Because I probably someone saying, oh, leave it like that, I like it, but I don't. Oh, I do like what's going on here. I see all the metallic coming through now. Wow. But I want to do something to these dots. I was thinking about doing this. Which I like. And then do another row down there. I sort of like this, yeah. Sorry it's taking so long, but I think I might want to move it a little bit, make it a little bigger, like that. So it's not that man-made kind of. That's good. Now the next bit See, if that goes down there, the natural way would be this. So, yeah. I think I'm, um, you know, I like the pouring, but I want some more uh, control. I think that's it. I really like to have a little bit more control. And these pipettes I bought are really, really bad because they are so thin, the little balls on top, they are so thin. Just uh, a tiny bit of pressure makes them come out, the paint come out, that's that. Let's see if I can load it up, really load it up. Are you guys getting really tired, calm and zen? I bet you are. <laughs> I am. Just doing this, I'm really getting really zen zened out. It has something. Come on guys, you gotta leave me a comment. Because sometimes, you know, I'm just, I just get so um, wrapped up in what I'm doing that I sort of lose the, um, the ability to determine if it's really beautiful or if it's just so-so. So you gotta tell me what you guys think of this new thing I'm doing. I'm only going to do two. Now I got to do a row next to it. Otherwise it'll be too thin. Oh, this is so much fun. You got to try this. <laughs> this is so much fun. I can't help it. So you put a couple here, there. Okay, coming back in with the brown. And then coming back in with the orange. Oops. Ooh, made a little mistake. Doesn't matter. Okay, now coming back in with my little stick. going 
down that way. Kind of like that. And I didn't like that. What else didn't I like? Let's see. Eh, the rest I like. Now I'm going to tip this one because I really want to have something that it looks a little bit more natural. Okay, that's about it. That one went a little bit bigger. This one is nice. Now all I have to do is cover this corner with a little bit of paint. This one is pretty much covered. I think we're talking more art, artsy, uh, artsy thing here. Oh, that's not the right color. I need some more brown. There we go. There it is. It's a little bit more artsy. And it certainly has something to it. I will need some brown here. Okay. And I'm still missing one thing. And that is this. Yep. Got to get me another pipette. Soaking up some of this um, because I want to give it a little bit of a shine. So I guess this will just be my first real art piece. Not a pour, but real art. Yeah, that adds to it. I like that. But I also would like one drop over here. Not too big. That's it. That is pretty. I'm sure some of you are going to really enjoy doing something like this because um, a lot of people, they miss the control they have when you uh, do the pours. So I can relate to that. I like having some control and um, be the boss of where some colors go. Now I'm going to put some on here. If I don't have enough, I'll just make some more. Yeah, I gotta make some more, I think. Eh, that might just be enough. has to be a little bit the same as the other one otherwise it stands out but this is the Guatemala green so this is gonna stay really really nice and shiny especially when I do the uh, the varnish over it yeah that's okay that was a little bit too big but that's okay you can see how forgiving this really is and that's a good thing. I'm liking this. I am. Uh, of course, it has a little less to do with the uh, with pouring, and a little bit more with the artsy side of the whole thing. 
but that's okay. Sometimes you just want to do this. Uh oh, that one didn't go too well. Getting the last out of the little cup. That's okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, got some splotches going on there. And I want a splotch here and there. This is, uh, what I'm doing is sort of just camouflaging the, um, the pieces I really don't like. So to be able to do this, I think is pretty awesome. There we go. This is okay. I like it. That turned out beautifully. I like this bit. I like that bit. Maybe just let it go in there. Yeah, this is better. And of course this will maybe just, you know, sort of um, spread, which I kind of like too. Going through it with a little stick, you know, just makes it a little bit more organic. I kind of like that, yeah. <coughs> oh boy. Yeah, I'm liking it a lot. And this would have been amazing. I'm going to do another one with only the, exactly the same colors. But I'm going to use a couple of more colors of uh, primary elements. Guys, you know, if you don't have this stuff, you're missing out. I'm telling you. Because this stuff is amazing. It really is. I just wish I had a little bit more. Nah. I'll have to make a little bit more. But I won't, um, I won't video it because it'll take too long. So I'm going to um, turn this off. First do a little uh, torch over it to get rid of the air bubbles. Because I don't want any air bubbles. Well, a couple, you know, you can't help it. You'll have a couple, but other than that, I love this. Yeah, okay. So, oh, only two and twenty-two minutes. Oh, then I can I can still do this. Okay. Guatemala green and I'm thinking maybe we should put in another color a little bit of blue nah no 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 I ran out of little sticks here we go I'll just show you how I mix it up so I have some of that medium in there. Just take like a little bit on the stick there and just mix it in. And if it's too thick, you can put in a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, water. That's about it. Yeah, I'm gonna put in some more of this uh, stuff because I like that. Oh, I'm hoping I don't didn't make it too thin. Oh, it is a little thinner, but we'll see how it works.
gotta watch out for the um, for the air bubbles though. See, I'm doing now. I'm doing everything I don't like. The little um, the things I don't like. I'm gonna put this stuff on and then make it work with the uh, with the flow of the painting. Then all of a sudden it does work. So this one, I didn't do that one yet. That's better. Put one on here. That's good. Put one in here. And there you go. See how beautiful that works? Then all of a sudden it isn't, it doesn't stand out, but sort of incorporates the thing into the painting. See that? That's it. I think I'm done. Maybe this one. You know, with the pour, you always see something you don't like, I think. But sometimes you just have to stop. That is beautiful. Didn't pull it through yet. Let's pull it through a little. Just pulling it through it with a little stick is, um, it's making all the difference because it gives that a little more flow. And I also could go through here right now with the stick, but I sort of like the, the circular things that are going on here. What you could do, um, I'm not sure if this is going to, yeah, I'm, I don't want to, no, I want to keep it like this. But what you could do is put the stick here in the middle and pull out all these little circles and then they would look like uh, leaves. But if, I'm going to get you guys close up because if you see this, this is gorgeous, really I am so happy with that. I'm going to do that right after this one. I wasn't going to do another one, but I can't, I can't stop now. Okay, let me get you down there and show you exactly what I mean. Let me get my little stick. See what I'm, I hope I don't stick it in the paint. This, these things, look at that. They go totally it's like they belong there. See that? I've got some here too. Up there. When this is dry, this is going to look awesome. I'm pretty sure. So let's get you up here so you can see from... Uh, I can't get the glare out. Let's see if I can get the the lamp down. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, guys, you got to tell me what you think about that orange and brown bit. Is it too much or is it cute? You got to tell me. Okay, I'm going to put this one up on, uh, I was going to say eBay. I'm going to put this up on YouTube and uh, see you guys in a bit. So, bye-bye. Uh,